Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Like to start off, I say you call the law, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kakadash. Double honors to the Oaks and Apostles, Great Bill Stone. So we are the Hebrew Israelites, I am prophesying to you so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, letting you know that you are the people of the Holy Bible. Destruction is coming to America, Babylon the Great. The Holy Bible, which is our book, which is our records, speaks about the last days. What does the last days mean? That means the downfall of one kingdom and the raising up of another. So why are you prophesying to our people, to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, which are from the 12 tribes of Israel? We have the tribe of Judah, so-called African Americans, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, so-called Haitians, Tribe of Simeon, so called Dominican. Tribe of Zebulon, Guatemala, Panama. We have the tribe of Ephraim, so called, the tribe of so called Puerto Ricans. We have the tribe of Manasseh, so called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, North American Indians, the tribe of Reuben, which are the Seminole Indians, the tribe of Naphtali, the Argentina, the Chile, the tribe of Asher, Colombia, the Uruguay and the tribe of Issachar, which are the so-called Mexicans. We are the 12 tribes of Israel, those that are scattered abroad and the confusion of faith, meaning there are some of our people that look like these other nations, the so-called Africans, which are not the same as the Negroes. They're two distinct peoples. You have the sons of Noah were white, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Shem and Ham consist of those that came out of the horns of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So we have some of our people that look like so-called Japanese, so-called Chinese, so-called Caucasians. So we're not right judging according to your skin color. The Holy Bible says, judge not according to appearance, judge righteous judgment. The right here is let our people know that destruction is coming compared to Babylon the Great. Our binding chip, which is spoken of in the Holy Bible, that's in Revelation 13 16, is also coming to America, Babylon the Great, throughout the whole earth. World War III is coming as well. The Holy Bible says that famine, destruction, the plagues of Yahweh Shem Shai, which is the God that we serve, the God of Israel. We are the children of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, outside to our people. About World War III, martial law, FEMA camps, all these things are coming to America, Babylon, and Great. Whether you like it, believe it or not. So we're out here hoping to save some. But like it says in the Holy Bible, that two-thirds of our people will be destroyed here in America, Babylon, and Great. You're going to have the coming of the RFID chip. And destruction is coming. So right here warning our people, thus says the Holy Bible, to you so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans.
Estados Unidos. Porque la división de los Estados Unidos, ¿cómo está dividido entre norteamericanos y sudamericanos? Pero nosotros no somos hispanitos a los eh, indios nativos. ¿Sí o no? Y tenemos la misma historia que los estudiantes ponemos, que no tenemos historia de opresión. Nosotros somos los italianos. Jesucristo va a regresar, que le llaman Jesucristo, pero era un hombre hebreo. Hablaba en hebreo, su nombre es Yahweh Shah. Jesucristo, él va, según, va a regresar en estos días. ¿Usted sabe de eso? Entonces, nosotros somos los israelitas, la marca de la bestia. ¿Usted sabe qué es la marca de la bestia? Es el, es el R5 chip. ¿Sabes qué es un microchip? Sí. Eh, el hombre blanco, que es el hijo de, de, de Satán, que es gemelo, hermano gemelo de, de un hombre que se llamaba Jacob. Esa razón todavía está en, este, en, esta, en la tierra en el mundo, pero se llama blanco, se llama España, pero no son de España, son iconitas. Nosotros somos los hijos de los profetas, somos sacerdotes, somos nación santa. Somos sinceritas, somos un mundo que está uh, aprendiendo de las cosas que van a pasar en este mundo. Tú sabes que viene la tercera guerra mundial. Sí, viene la tercera, la tercera guerra, guerra mundial. Tiene discusión, Dios va a destruir a los Estados Unidos con el nuclear weapon. Eso viene a los Estados Unidos, entonces nosotros, nosotros debemos de leer, de poder prepararnos a las cosas que van a venir. Este país. Entonces, sí, eh, cuando tiene tiempo, busca en el inicio uh, CMS en español. No, es un grupo que, que nosotros eh, estudiamos en la Biblia y, y si, si ustedes alguien que quiere aprender de su historia, antes que nos llamaban, nos, nos han dado apodos. Yeah, the Most High God's name is Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. We are today, Saturday, August 27th, following the High Holy Days of the Heavenly Father, which today is the uh, blowing of the trumpets, the memorial of the blowing of trumpets. So we're going to blow the trumpet and proceed to edify our people and warn our people about the things that are coming to America. Martial law, FEMA camps, and the RFID chip. So I get warning those that believe in the testimony that we have. Believe that you are of the children of Israel, that you are an Israelite. Now it's you, it's one inwardly. That means it's not about how you look. It's not about how many branches you have. This is about circumcising your mind Prepare yourself for the things that are coming to America Babylon Great. Like it says in the Holy Bible, in the whole book, to circumcise your heart. Paul the Apostle said that a Jew which pertains to a man named Judah is one inwardly in your heart. You're going to have to understand these things. So it's not about how you look. So the Holy Bible says what? To circumcise your heart and return to the Most High God, Yahweh. And we give double honors to the elders and apostles to bring those stones because we learn from them. And like the Holy Bible says in the book of St. John, we are entered into their labors. So we're right here to warn our people about our body chip, Revelation 13, 16, martial law, FEMA camps, the Most High God returning to his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, with the holy angels charge the so-called UFOs that you read about in the Holy Bible to destroy the miracle Babylon great. Like it says in Ezekiel chapter 38, you have nations, this is biblical prophecy coming to pass before your very eyes. Russia, China, Iran, these countries, once they were weak, now they are saying they are strong. This is all part of what's written in the Holy Bible. 
Gog and Magog, which is going to unite with these other European nations and shoot thermonuclear missiles upon to America, Babylon, and Great. So we are living in the latter day, at the end of the world, meaning the end of one rulership and the beginning of the rulership of the Israelites. So we're going to have many be destroyed in World War III, which is Armageddon, martial law, great famine coming to America as well. So why are you prophesying to so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans? This is the book, Proverbs, chapter 8. Verse 4. Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. For the most high God is dealing with the men, the women that understand what the earth is for life. It should be uh, study and, and to be quiet and obey the order that the most high God has set up which is the Israelite man, woman, and child. So it says, to you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. The Most High God is dealing with the men, the head of the house. The women have an obligation to teach the children who they are, to continue in the things that our forefathers have, have recorded down for our understanding all the, the apostles of old and we are back according to reincarnation which is in the Holy Bible that is vividly what the Holy Bible says that your forefathers which we are those same forefathers become in the spirit of the former prophets Isaiah Chapter 32, verse 9. So we're going to go ahead and blow the trumpet for the memorial of the blowing the trumpets. Because this is what our forefathers did of old. Even after Mashiach Yahweh Chai, because Jesus Christ was offered up as a living sacrifice for our people. Still had the apostles keeping the, the law, statutes, and commandments. China that is drying up as we speak. 
that the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is bringing plagues to America, Babylon the Great, in order to forward the prophecies that are coming to pass before your very eyes. That's why I'm warning you about what's coming. And you see the so-called white man, his name is Esau. You see these farmlands being bought up. Bill Gates preparing what? Fungus burgers. These goddamn devils want to feed you worms. They want to brand you like goddamn animals. That's why you're exposing the wicked as well. We're warning our people about the things that are coming. A remnant of the Israelites will be delivered via the chariots of the Most High God. And the second coming of Amashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's why you're warning the remnant of our people. But two thirds will not understand. Why? Because the Most High God has blinded them. They have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. The spirit of slumber is upon them. So it says, Isaiah 32 and 11. Tremble, you woman that are at ease. Be troubled, you careless one. Strip ye, make ye bare. Girt sackcloth upon your loins. Meaning what? You're supposed to prepare for the things that are coming. Starting with obeying the Lord's voice, which is to lament those that are telling you the 100% truth. Not like these other cats, IUIC. They still teach you to call upon my Jesus. We're calling upon the Most High God's name, His only begotten Son, an ancient Hebrew, which Yahweh Shai was a Hebrew. Paul the Apostle said, has the Most High God forsaken his people? No. Because he said he was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin.
in 2022, if you're still a goddamn Catholic Christian, you're gonna be destroyed. Because you don't know, you don't know about the RFID chip. You don't know the most high God is gonna destroy two-thirds of our people. You don't know that the so-called white man knows that he has a short time, like it says in the book of Revelation. To take to to take a second hold upon his hegemony. So this is what this goddamn devil is preparing to brand the people like animals. And you've been exposed, he saw just like your forefather Cain. That that mark that the most high God set upon Cain is the mark of leprosy. The same way Esau came out, which is why Genesis 25, 25 says that Esau came out all red like a hairy garment. It didn't say Jacob came out black because they were all dark colored, including those that came out of Jacob and these other nations as well. So he knows that he has but a short time to take another firm hold upon the nations of the earth, mainly the dark nations. So the scripture says that you are a vagabond, you're a father of lies, Esau. So our testimony is about condemning the wicked, which includes you all the nations, two thirds of our people, hoping that we may save a remnant of the nation of Israel. This is the book Malachi 3, 13. Your words have been stout, can't speak. Say, Yahweh, yet ye say, what have we spoken so much against thee? It's talking about you are the cats, you liars. Everyone that loveth and meant the lie will receive fire and brimstone. Mainly talking about these other camps that are not giving our people the proper understanding. Malachi 3, 14, he has said, It is vain to serve God. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance? If we have walked mournfully for the Lord of hosts. And now we call the proud happy. Yeah, that they, they that work, wickedness, are set up. Those that tempt God are even delivered. So the scriptures say that the joy of the hypocrite only lasts for a moment. Containeth all things, 
have knowledge of the voice through the Holy Spirit, the Rukat Kodash. We have received the true understanding about the prophecies that have been in for over 2,000 years. This is the wisdom of the, of the Most High God, which is His voice, which is how create, He created the heaven and earth through His only begotten creation, Amashiach Yahushai, through the Alahayim, which the angels that were under the Most High God in Yahushai's command. And that voice is still here today to give you the true understanding, to tell you about the things that are coming to America, Babylon, and Great, which is our finding chips, martial law, FEMA camps, to reward our people of so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Through the Most High God in the spirit of the former prophets, the things that the prophets of old saw, the visions which we are making play upon tables according to the book of Habakkuk. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 8. Therefore, he that speaketh on righteous things cannot be hid, neither shall vengeance. When it punishes him, pass by him. Or the inquisition shall be made to the counsels of the ungodly, and the sound of his words shall come to the Lord with the manifestation of his wicked deeds. So you have the so called white man made an inquisition upon our people when we forsook the law, statutes, and commandments when he rose back into power in the 1500s because you had the dark nations ruling Europe which is called the middle times the so called white man called it the medieval times but then he came back into power in the 1500s and covered up the images of the Israelites the images of Yahweh And now, through the power of spirit of the Most High God and His only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, we are making inquisition for the blood that the so-called white man has shed here in America. So what does inquisition mean? for inquisition, a period of prolonged and intensive questioning or investigation. So this is what we're doing when we go into the Holy Scriptures, give you archaeology history to prove who our people are, to prove who the wicked are here in planet Earth, to show you that the end is coming, the end of one rulership and the beginning of the rulership of Jacob, which are the Israelites. The beginning of order coming back to planet Earth. But first, you gotta have the RFID chip, martial law, FEMA cat. The RFID chip being the mark of the beast. Armageddon is coming as well. And many will perish, like it says in the scriptures. Many will be the slain, slain of the Lord. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 11. Therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable. Refrain your tongue from backbiting, for there is no word so secret that shall go for nothing. And the mouth 